Hey yo, what's up? Shotcut 1806.02 is out and there are some quite big changes. It has been a few days and the first version 1806.01 had a problem, quite crashy, but uh, after less than a day it was fixed. So there's 1806.02, make sure to get that if you download it. The big new features are being able to reverse video files, not clips unfortunately, you can detach audio, which is really cool. It's very comfortable and uh, less confusing to people. Usually we would say, hey, if you want to edit audio and video of the same video file, you just uh, use a video file twice. And some filters now have also keyframes, so that's cool. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some of these new features. Let's edit clip. Uh, let's add the timeline, drag this to the timeline. And this one has audio. This uh, video file has audio. So this video clip has audio and video. So all we gotta do to detach the audio is to right click this thing and say detach audio. And there you go. It automatically adds an audio track and puts the audio clip in there. And from then on they work independently from one another. And if you don't want the audio you just remove it or mute it over here. Then you have the video only. Or of course you can use this to only have the audio. Uh, let me just undo the deletion. Here we go. Just make uh, the video track invisible or delete it. And if you just want the audio, you can go to export and go to MP3 and just export the file. Just the uh, music. And that should be rather quick. But let me just restore the defaults. So if we get ourselves another video file in here, let's check that out. We can go ahead and split it. And uh, now let's add some of the filters that now have keyframes. For example, the saturation filter now has such. So if we enable the keyframes timeline and drag it to a side, we can just zoom out with shift mouse wheel and click this to use the uh, advanced keyframes because we can use simple ones here. But if we click this, we get the advanced ones here. And whenever we change a value, a keyframe gets added. And the awesome thing is we can move these around by just dragging them now. We can hold down Control to just move them vertically and Alt to move them only horizontally. Shift doesn't uh, do anything. So let's uh, check it out. Saturation goes up, saturation goes down. Can we have it really low? Yeah, yeah, we totally can. So let's make it a bit crazy. What the? Okay, here we go. Just pump it up to a max. Here two and down and go. Let's check it out. Goes down, up, down, up and down. So this is what you can do. And these are the advanced controls that are possible with advanced keyframes now. The blur filter and the Mask filter also have keyframes now, both simple and advanced. You can also jump around between keyframes if you need to. Definitely useful to see what each keyframe does without having to actually click around. And then you can also use the uh, interface over here to modify them. What I think is very interesting is that the size and position filter, which I think is the most important filter right now in Shotcut, uh, it doesn't have advanced keyframes yet, but what it does have, it's, it's a bunch of presets. You get all kinds of fades in, fade ins, or uh, slide in transitions, basically, thanks to this. Here, at the end. I think this is pretty great. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Picture in picture mode, why not? And you can toggle these simple keyframes by double clicking. Let's see, is this going to affect both? Ah, interesting, interesting. One small change of GPU processing is now called GPU effects, which I think is a bit confusing because effects, there is no, the word effects isn't being really used in Shotcut. They use filters. So why is it effects? Maybe somebody can t tell me. I didn't find anything about that uh, word choice yet. And if you click it, you get some more warnings. Now let's take a look at the reverse uh, feature of Shotcut. I made a video about it. Check the video out if you're really interested in that feature. But all you got to do is go to properties and then you have down here this uh, line, line, line menu. And you just press reverse and it will re-encode the whole video file 
of that clip and you can just pick the quality and size here and then you have to tell it where and then you'll have to wait for the whole video to be uh, re-encoded so if you want a really long video you want to take one clip and reverse it then you will have to cut it out export that import it again and then reverse it it's a bit of work but at least it's user interface based next step would be to make it real time as a filter so to speak but some other time i guess there's also a hue lightness saturation video filter let's check out that real quick here you are hue lightness saturation it doesn't have keyframes yet so that's unfortunate but it's nice to have it all together I'm sure people will appreciate it oh and what i think is really good is having this keyboard shortcuts menu item it doesn't show a user interface thing instead it opens a new window in your browser but this page is very useful people probably didn't even google this but here you have all the short shortcuts for example playing back and pausing doing things like adding video tracks most of these are visible in the ui so anyways i hope this helps please subscribe to support this channel and see you in the next video until then ciao